Welcome back to AIWAR Fleet Command, everybody. It's time to build a capital for Exeron. Finally, we are prepared to do that. The only question really was where to build it. Of course, I'm going to go over to Sindai. I think this is the best location, in my opinion, because I have to come through our homeworld to get there anyway, so we can concentrate our fleet there. Build it in here. I'm going to get some extra engineers going up. Now, the other thing I want to do is switch around my command stations a little bit. But here in Iris, we don't need a Logistics 2 here, I don't think. So I'm going to go with a Logistics 1. Just throw it there. And then in Sendai, that means I can switch this one from an Economic to the Logistics 2. Then we're going to build our capital, which is going to cost 2 million. So that's going to take a while. The presence of this capital will provoke a tremendous response from the AI. Well, let's see what that's going to be all about. Well, our new capital is finished and nothing has happened. We're just getting normal waves. So apparently uh, our tooltip is lying a little bit. It's not the mere presence of this capital. We're going to have to do something else. We've got a survey going on and we can now do some research at this thing. But let's take a look at what the journal has to say. Exron the seventh. And so Lumen, child of Tellus, his usual greeting. At last we can use our real power. The machines they fear, and they will come. We must meet them, and then we must crush them. The one of you we met before, the one you call Richard. He used a phrase from one of your old stories. Post tenebrous lux, which I'm sure is Latin and I don't know what it means. Speaking of that one, his other plan. We will continue to seek. Perhaps the core can be found. If the machine is still too strong to crush, we must find it. And then Dr. Davidson chimes in. Commander, we can now research adapted designs of the Spire Battleship and Spire Dreadnought. They are truly behemoths of the stars. With a few of those and the rest of the Spire fleet, we may be able to carve a path straight to the AI homeworlds and destroy them. With additional research, we can also build Spire colony ships without salvaging additional shards. If you believe we need additional Spire cities, that can now be accomplished. With this, I actually don't even have to worry about defending the other Spire locations. Because if we lose one of them, we can just build another shard, and uh, or colony ship rather, and reconstruct it. We can unlock that. I'm not going to unlock it if I don't need to. We're going to do this 6,000 here for the Spire battleship. And the 12,000 for the Dreadnought. You can see it's got 2.4 million health, that is 1.2 million health. And then we'll want to start building those. I'm going to move my Spire ship construction facilities in here, instead of Cato Nemoidia, because it just makes more sense for me to build them at the capital area, I think. And then we've still got a few thousand left. We can either get this big rail cannon, this big plasma siege, or rather laser cannon, or the Spire Colony Ship, and we could get better shield modules, like this is 1.2 million, that would add a ton. Heavy Beam Cannon module, and the Plasma Siege module, etc. But we would need to do more other research first. And, you know, sort of at this point, I feel like we have to make a choice between, do we want to get the Colony Ship, and build more Spire cities elsewhere? I don't want to do that, I don't want to expand anymore, I feel like we're big enough 20 planets. I'm going to stick with this for now and I can always do that if I find out I'm not powerful enough to handle something. But I'm going to go with the rail cannon. I like those. Infinite range is always an excellent thing. And then we'll see what we can build here. Now we're going to grab our shipyard and we're going to want to be cycle building frigates. We'll just have all these ships go somewhere out in there and destroyers and cruisers and now we've got the battleships which cost a million each 24k energy on their own I'm gonna to need to deal with that and then the dreadnoughts 48k energy on their own okay so this is really gonna suck down our energy and I've already gotten rid of a good amount of our fleet ships I have, I'm down to the standard two-thirds level on turrets on pretty much all the planets, except the homeworld. And then I've gotten rid of some starships. And I think I'm going to, what I'm going to end up doing is getting rid of 
most of my the turret level maybe a little bit on the home world but getting rid of even more starships it's basically going to get rid of all of our standard ships and replace them with the more powerful spire stuff i don't see any way to maintain a decent energy surplus without doing that so right now we just want to get these things built and get this survey done Okay, so now we've got our first of each kind of ship built, and we're about to finish our survey. Let's take a look at these first. I want to build all of them initially. We got the one dreadnought we can support. requires eight shipyards. We can build three of the battleships, so we're going to get more of those. But here's your battleship, which is bigger than the cruisers, and then this massive, ridiculous, stupid thing. The battleship, first of all. Now, the shielding that we've got, we go up to 300k, and these have 1.2 million. So, I don't think it's quite worth putting the shield we have on these. It would be if we got the higher level ones. You can see that we could improve the siege cannon module. We could get the heavy beam cannon, laser cannon higher. So, if we wanted to expand and really be ridiculous with this, we could still upgrade these a lot more. But I'm just going to go with the heavy weapons. And we've got a rail cannon, a plasma siege, and the heavy beam cannon. So I've got like one of each type for my primary armaments. And then we'll go with some lesser ones. Let's take one less of these and another laser. I mean, you, I just go in with a mix of weapons there. Dreadnought, again, the shielding would be even less useful. It would only add an eighth to the health there. But we can fit basically even more stuff on this. So I'm going to go with, like I'm going to get three of those, two of these, and three of these. There we go. And then we've got two spots left. We'll fill those with lasers for dealing with, you know, smaller ships. And again, this is going to be truly obscene. Now, we got to build up all of the rest of this. Do the same thing for two more battleships. But, obviously, I want to get the survey while that's going on. Okay. New signal found on Loon Rice. Loon Rice. Incel Lumen, child of Telus. Says Xer on the 7th. He's back again. We have found that which once powered my flagship. It is distant, and its recovery is perilous. But with it, we can contact my subjects throughout the neighboring galaxies. And they will be able to come here. But building the transceiver, you would call it, building that will take much. And when it is built, it will take time. Time to establish the intergalactic connections. During that time, the machine will know what we are doing and will seek to crush us. Likely it will send everything it can, and will not cease. Perhaps it would be better to attack the machine ourselves. We can build more cities, we can build more ships. Perhaps that would be best. But if we do again connect the galaxies, the machine will learn what it is to face a superior force, and we will be victorious. So they're still basically saying, you know what, maybe we should just go crush the AI homeworlds directly and not worry about it. But the thing that's interesting to me here is that we have the option if we connect if we connect the galaxy in theory I think what we're doing is we're defeating the AI everywhere not just in the other galaxies not just here the combined spire forces would be able to cleanse them from the universe so Lunarice is here it's an AI core world and uh, that's where we've got to get to and we can see like it's not we'd have to get back to our home world I presume so that's nine jumps. We haven't done anything longer than four before. This is going to be uh, a situation, <laughs> suffice to say. I don't know how fast this thing is, but I think what I'm probably going to want to do with this is just, you know, send everything. Uh, send the entire fleet, smash through, and get here. Once, of course, we've got everything built up. In Sendai, I got the our extra ships in there, so I think I think it's down here. Yeah, that's where our Mark IV scout is. 
So first of all, let's just send that up there. So we've got good intelligence. And then I've got some building to do before we're ready to handle whatever is about to happen here. Hey, I've now got even more extreme. I've gotten rid of all of my fleet ships, including the Mark V ones, spider bots, and blade spawners. I want to have a reserve of energy in case we lose a system or two randomly. I don't want everything else shutting down. So that's why I've done that, because I need the energy for all of our heavy forces. And you can see we've got Fallen Spire uh, wave coming in. I've even got rid of all of the rest of the standard starships now. See, we've just got Spire stuff and Golems. That's it. And I'm keeping the munitions, boosters, and survey ships a jump behind here as I'm about to start clearing the path. Now, since we're going to get another Spire wave, and that probably won't take long mount up, I'm going to just try to clear the path, then actually go after the core survey thing. Do that later after this. But I want to try to pound through some of this while that is charging up. So we're in Dagobah, and we just need to pound our way through Philomela, and Varuna, and Camino, and then into here. And my goal at this point is basically to clear everything out, brute force. There's not going to be any subtlety to this, because we should have enough firepower to just blow through that. Let's get this done. And of course, we'll just start by moving here into the middle and... See, even a Mark IV plan, of course, putting up basically no resistance. Well, what's this? Yeah, that's a Martyr Mark IV. Okay, that's like their mobile uh, warhead deal. Let's, let's blow that up before it decides to do anything. Come on. There we go. Ooh, yeah, looks like it... Uh, it we were too close to it. Damaged a couple cruisers. Okay, let's get... Why do I only have those selected. Yeah, so between that and the arachnid post, they actually did a significant amount of damage. We're going to have to go back and repair. Which will be no problem. It does show how much the martyrs suck. Let's go and blow up that barracks. And we'll slowly traipse across the system here. Okay, so I think at this point I'm just going to retreat, repair, and then traipse across the rest of the systems up to the core world. Lesson learned, be more careful around martyrs. I, If I'd have had the whole fleet with me, I would have blown it up from a larger distance if I hadn't accidentally selected just the three ships. 
Just a bit more caution would be warranted there. Okay, here we are in Loon Race, and the next two systems went much more according to plan. We lost one frigate in total, no big deal there. I did leave the golems outside, because just in case they got targeted by the orbital mass driver, I did not want to lose them. If I lose one of the spire ships, I can replace them. Can't replace the golems. Here's the mass driver. So I'm just going to make sure we get rid of that immediately. There we go. Now that's no longer a concern. We can return to the normal order of business and bring in the golems. Of course, we're going to see all their strategic reserve coming at us. I just want to center everything here. And yeah, okay, we've got some implosion artillery and stuff. Let's get rid of that. And let's see, I mean, some of the heavier ships taken some significant damage here. The Black Widow's only at 50%. I'm not too happy with that. Why don't you just get out? Let's just make sure that we don't lose anything stupidly. In fact, well, I'll just send it just outside the system. Okay, Armored Golems at 63%. I'm not sure what's been hitting that, but I'm going to send that back, too. And I don't want to use the wasps, because I want to use them against this next Fallen Spire wave. So there we go. So let's just start cleaning up some of these guard posts. I'm not sure why they're not they're having such trouble targeting them from this far away. There's some sort of dampening field in here, possibly. Let's get that laser post gone. Looks like one of my battleships might go down. But I'm really not that concerned about it, because we're just going to rebuild them. Laser post. Guard post, missile. I just want to make sure there's nothing in here to threaten us when it comes time to it. Clear out some of this riffraff. Yeah, here comes a bunch more stuff, and as you know, Mia, is that the homeworld? Yeah, so they're just sending in ships from there, and I would expect them to do that. Getting upset about their core world being under attack. And that's a lot of riot controls going away at once. Let's see. Yeah, let's, okay, those are yeah, missile guard post. So I want to head back to that side of the system. Clear these out. We gradually are doing some decent attrition even to the spire ships. We still have not lost anything cruiser or bigger. Not quite, so not particularly concerned about that. Okay, let's make sure you don't get anywhere. You moved over there? Fine, we'll kill you there too. And now let's see about that fortress. Now you're getting a little too close. Back off. And we lost one. Yeah, we got our appraisal warning. And I think I, instead of attacking it, I just want to sit here. How far is its range? Yeah, okay, let's sit there and just have them snipe. So they should be able...
Yeah, it's going to take a little too much time. Right now, I want to get everybody back. We'll come back in here and clear this out right before we do our little survey hack. Do you know what? Let's let's get the barracks first, then we'll go. Let's just pop straight back this way. Oh, we never got that. Let's get that MLRS post too. Another one there. Thought we got everything on this side of the system. Must have been wrong. And that's down there by Camino, which we're going to be headed to anyway. Don't know why everybody's floating around over there. Okay, time to head back home. So here's what the fallen spire waves think is an appropriate response with our expanded fleet. 71 ships, over 42,000 strength. Yippee, and this is actually a replay. Because on the first time through, I'm being more aggressive with my fleet trying to intercept them. I think that's pretty much necessary, as has been suggested in pointing out, because their ships, more powerful ships, will level a system quickly, so I've got to take them out before they come into the homeworld or try. I was a little bit too aggressive the first time I gave that a shot, and they got one siege tower in here. Unfortunately, it was a Mark V siege tower, took like two hits to blow everything up and yeah that would have been the end of the game if this campaign was not to show off the fallen spire you know I'm not gonna sideline that for a cheap loss of that type so what I'm gonna do try out this time is just leave the golems in here and once things start getting intense I'm gonna release the wasps and that should thin any any resistance out that comes in should be able to take out a limited amount of big ships and then also I'll run back in here if it really gets bad. So let's see where they decide to attack first. Looks like Iris is getting the worst of it. They're also coming into Thisbe and Frozenzen. The good news is those are all around here. Let's just pop into Iris. Then I might come over to Frozenzen and back. I might come straight back. We're not going to prejudge that. Let's just get over there and see what happens. And this is really just a Spire-only fleet. Okay, what do we have? Oh, we got plenty. And some of them want to head to Frizenzen, so I'm going to try to move this group like over here. Let it take out this stuff and maybe that stuff too. Let's see how this works. Oh, no, yeah, they're they're bypassing too much. Let's uh let's come back. Okay, now they're starting to get some stuff into Elpis. Now I want to release my wasps. Still the majority of it and iris stuff just starting to come into for the or Alpus. So let's let's hang out in here and get as much of this as we can before it goes through. There we go. And now let's try to just knock out this lovely conglomeration of crap. Now to make sure the home world's okay. You should always run back in there if it's not. And this is what? Translocator, couple of siege towers, a regen golem. And I still think we're gonna be okay with all this. Well, we've got some more things up here. But yeah, they're taking a lot of damage. I don't think there's enough in here. Of course, if I'm wrong, then we're dead. But those two siege towers are gonna die soon. They've got some ammo on the way. We haven't taken any damage back here. So I'm going to make the call that we can survive that and stay on the attack over here. And let's move into this a little more. We've got some ships heading over to Utapau. I don't really care much about that. Although, maybe, because they, they, they could come into Merapi. Let's check out Elpis again. 
Okay, it appears that we did clean this up pretty well. They've got a spider guardian, but who cares? Frizenzen is getting the worst of it. Then we got Iris. So I think what I want to do now is just try to knock out most of this and then head to Frizenzen. Kato Nemoidia under attack. We're going to live with that. Okay, that's enough to... Now, these are all going to Elpis. There isn't that much on Elpis now, but there's about to be a lot more. For Zenzin, most of that's coming to Elpis. Okay. Yep, now it is time to definitely get back home. And let's see. There's not much of anything here, but there will be. Let's just hang out in the middle of the system. Yep, here it comes in from Frizenzen. And I think I'm going to just... Just because these are a lot closer. Let's help out with this section. There we go, that's dead. Move out that way. Cleared it up pretty well. Got Ceres, which has the most of it. Papagena, did we lose anything? I don't think we lost any systems. What's in Utapau? Yeah, I think our minimal fleet that we've got here in Merapi, the, the botnet and the several other things around it. I think that can probably handle anything that goes that way. What do they have in Ceres? And they're probably going to head over to Anti-Cheese with all this stuff. Okay. That's where I'm going next. I don't know if I can get there in time, but we're going to give it a whirl. And as it turns out, they took their sweet darn time. We were already here and on our way to Ceres when they popped through. So I'm just going to hang out right here. There's a regen golem and some other fun things. Okay, what's left? Not a whole lot. Nothing above a couple thousand threat. Except in Arshandra, almost 10,000 threat from two ships. Oh, well, one of them's the <laughs> Devour Golem. Never mind. Okay, so I think we're safe. So now it's on to the next phase. We're, gonna, of course, going to clean up, rebuild our turrets, etc. Most of that will happen automatically. If we look at our fleet, the actual fleet itself, we lost uh, a destroyer and about 10 frigates. Almost everything survived. I think next attack, I might like even split up into a couple of groups and multitask even more. But I think just hopping around, putting out fires, is going to be the best way I know of to deal with these fallen spire waves. Of course, feel free to offer any suggestions. But from this point forward, we have a wave coming, but only at 62%. So I think this is this is the window I need to use. I need to get over to Lunrace, knock out that fortress, get my survey ship in there, and find that core of the Emperor's ship. So we can take the next step. And that will be coming up in the next episode. Till then, thanks for watching everybody. Fallen Spire keeps hurtling towards the climax. Which will be here soon.